New York has a mandate to eliminate fossil fuel power plants from the electric grid by 2040, just 15 years from now. At Cornell University, Professor Lindsay Anderson and other researchers are studying the physics of how that will work. They found the layout of New York's power grid creates challenges that will have to be resolved. If you think about the grid, it's not a system where all the sort of energy that's generated goes into a pool and then every sort of um, place that needs electricity pulls out of the same pool. The electrons have to move about in this grid. One of the sort of interesting things about New York is that, you know, the vast majority of our population is downstate. And the vast majority of our renewable resources and our traditional generating resources are found upstate. The transmission system is really challenged by being able to move all that power from upstate to downstate all the time when we need it. We could look at the CLCPA and say, okay, how much renewables do we need to serve the peak load you know, of New York State? And we can correct for the fact that wind doesn't blow all the time and sun doesn't shine all the time. But we can't ignore the fact that even if we have it, we have to be able to move it. When we see massive gaps in our ability to serve that load, technically we would call that a blackout. To back up weather-dependent power producers like wind and solar farms, energy experts say the system will need other electricity sources that can be activated regardless of the weather. State officials usually refer to these still developing technologies with a placeholder term, dispatchable emission-free resources, DEFR or DEFER for short. The key findings of the study were that um, the, the amount or the capacity of the dispatchable emission-free resources, so the DEFERs, that were estimated in the CLCPA in their technical scoping plan was too low. And it's not only that it was too low because it because there's not enough, but because it, we need to have a specific amount located in very different places around the state. When the State Climate Action Council issued its plan for transforming the electric grid, it estimated the need for 18 to 23 gigawatts of DEFER capacity. But Anderson and her colleagues concluded the state would need roughly twice that amount. Our study showed that it's probably closer to 36 or 37, maybe up to 40 gigawatts. Using 22 years of actual weather data, the researchers found that overloaded transmission lines and other system issues required more backup from DEFERS than previously supposed. Part of the problem is, is that it, there's the total number we need, and then there's the fact that we need it everywhere, right? So, so putting you know, 10 gigawatts here doesn't solve a problem over here necessarily because of transmission. New York's clean energy mandates take effect years in the future, but to energy planners, those deadlines are right around the corner. Delays in building wind and solar farms have already forced state officials to concede they will not meet a 2030 deadline to make 70% of the state's electricity from renewable energy. The 2040 deadline to establish a zero emission grid is even more ambitious. This is not a quick thing where we can say, okay, we're gonna build, you know, X gigawatts of wind and we're gonna build it now. There's these delays in permitting and getting the wind farms up and going, right? And then there's the issue of how much land do we need to put into solar? How do we co-locate solar with agriculture? Because we can't take all that land out of agriculture. There's all these long lead times to make this happen. It's almost 2025. Right, so our first stage is to get to 2030, and I think we've already seen some evidence that we're not gonna make 2030. So if we're chasing to catch up 2030, then I think, I think we're gonna be at least still be chasing to catch up 2040 if we don't slip further behind. So I, 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 I will be surprised, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised if we make that goal. Um, but we have to start somewhere.